Hello? Hello, uh, my name is Martin. Will we explain how work the different uh, sensors that we have relate uh, what I mentioned? Um, will we use um, our sticks from Smart Cultiva, that is the series ST? This series has a B and C here, so you can have different pros that we're talking right now. And also, they have the plug in here and they can read temperature. So. Let's start to explain the four different sensors that we have here. This probe is compatible for reading the total dissolved solid, the pH, ORP, and the O stick. This is basically a very important, accurate reading, especially if you work on hydroponic. Um, let's take a look. Each box has the ST itself and also the probe. So each product is by pair of two, correct? So in this uh, hand, we have a pH reader and the ST. And of course, we have my uh, laptop computer here, so we can, uh, sorry, my tablet computer, better, so we can connect to the device. Hmm? Well, let's start to review the different uh, connector that we have. In this particular case that we will use the pH, simply we connect the B and C here and the probe is connected. All this probe that we'll be using will be full submersible in water. So uh, there's a lot of probe that have problem you need to take uh, out of the water, maybe each week or two weeks uh, to recalibrate. This kind of probe that we're using are from Atlas Scientific that are the more high quality for reading and they are full submersible so uh, they can be up to one year in water. So, um, how we connect the sensor basically, uh, we have a plug in and we connect here. I don't know if you can read it, will be a red blue, that means the sensor is initiated, and the green, blue, uh, green uh, light, sorry, that indicate that it's ready to connect to the server. Uh, we'll be entered um, to the Wi Fi, and we'll be try to see if we'll, the device appear here. We will refresh um, the server, and yes, we have the connection here. And when the connection, let's uh, rescan. Um, great. Uh, in the scanning, we see here how we can connect to the device. And again, if you can see here, the SMTC CTPH1 is the server that we need to connect. Actually, we are connecting right now to uh, the device, meaning that we can have access to the main configuration. Uh, in that process, we'll be enter uh, several information so we can connect the device with our IP connection. So, um, Let's back for a minute in the other sensors uh, so we can explain more in deep how they work. We will take out that and we will see uh, how the other props are working. Uh, as I mentioned before, this is the pH. We have a special neutral liquid here so can, uh, the probe can be in good condition ever. Um, we have here also how is the cramp system for that. Let's unplug that so we can uh, work uh, this plug basically works in that way, so you can have on the wall or whatever, and, and basically you can have this device uh, stable, and you can of course put more than one. We will take out this. Okay, this is the pH. Uh, I will be show you also how are the others are pretty similar. Uh, this is from Ada Scientific 2, and we use that this special cover here for for reading the total dissolved oxygen, uh, sorry, total dissolved solid on water. 
This is one of the, uh, the props that we use. Also, we have uh, the, um, the DO2. And we have the ORP2. So we have the four probes here, so you can have a general idea about how they work. Okay, TD, pH, or P stick. So I uh, hope that this uh, video can be useful so you can understand how is the connection. This is the prop, this is the main uh, system and easy connection and configuration. So thank you for your time and hope this can uh, give a general overview about how a product related water measurements. Thank you.